Finally today, the Oklahoma 4-H'er who received major recognition this week for her work in agriculture. Sunup's Curtis Hare takes us to Pittsburgh County. At Frank Chamber School in Pittsburgh County, 4-H'ers are taking a break from their tedious routines to get a special lecture from an important person in their 4-H club. As you said, my name is Serena and I am your county president. This isn't a lecture on 4-H business or updates on what's going on in the county. It's a class Serena Woodard created to teach kids about the subject she loves. I have a service project called Woodard's Workshops. I like to teach kids of all ages about agriculture. Today this lesson is about beekeeping, but her classes cover everything from hydroponics to goats. She started the project in the sixth grade and it's grown a lot. Awesome, that was spot on. I have taught Woodard's Workshops in currently 38 counties to over 40,000 youth. I teach majority of it here in the Southeast District. I teach at community centers, libraries, and also 4-H clubs. So After a short lesson, Serena's pupils do crafts on what they've learned. Then they enter these creatures into their county fair. My favorite thing about my workshops is definitely working with the kids. I love seeing the growth of them. I go from the first day when not a lot of kids know little to nothing about agriculture to my last workshop. Some of them it leads to potential career paths. Um, as a teacher, Sharina is very quite like a leader because she's always fun to really be around. She's super kind. She's a very positive role model because whenever I grow up, whenever I get older, I want to be quite a bit like her. I plan on hopefully winning a award like hers and just really want to help kids better themselves. Like Emily said, Serena recently won an award for the outstanding work what its workshop does. It's not a small honor. On March 20th, Serena accepted the National 4-H Youth in Action Agriculture Pillar Award, the third Pittsburgh County 4-H awarded at this level. Although surprised and elated about the award, the day she would accept it caught her off guard. Her life forever changed on the 20th of March of last year. March 20th of 2017 is actually when we lost our house to a fire. Uh, they don't train you for that, <clears throat> excuse me, the, that phone call. That's, that's not in the, the training repertoire that they have for an extension agent. Pittsburgh County 4-H educator Greg Owen was one of the first people Serena called. She was obviously very upset. Uh, the, the main thing she was telling me in the conversation is everything that she had lost, everything from her 4-H official dress to all, basically all of her 4-H memories. Everything in the fire was completely demolished. The only thing we found from my bedroom is a belt buckle I won in 2015 for being my county's outstanding teen volunteer. For Serena's mother, Kathy, it's still hard to comprehend. You don't realize what all you lost. We still look back now. Um, if we need something, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's on top of the refrigerator. But it's not because even your refrigerator is gone. I mean, I know it hits her hard, and just to see her still moving forward and still doing everything she can after the fire, still focusing, still putting my sister and I first, that shows how selfless my parents are, and that's really the, tr the real reason that I've been so successful. 4-H is Serena's world. Whether it's her workshops or mentoring others, she gives everything she can to the program. After this tragedy, it was time for 4-H to give back. I've never been more proud to be an extension agent, a 4-H agent, not only of this county, but of this entire state, because literally the entire state came to bat for her. With feed for their animals and more supplies than the Woodards needed, the 4-H family helped them along, even upgrading the only thing left standing in the fire, that belt buckle. My county educators made a new belt buckle for me that is not exactly like the old one. And why it means so much to me is because it looks different than everybody else's. And on the outline, it's black. So it kind of reminds me that I have came out of the ashes. Serena and her family are pushing forward. They have plans to rebuild their home on top of the rubble, the old one. And Serena was elected to district office and plans to run for state officer. Always moving and always disciplined, like any good teacher. In Pittsburgh County, I'm Curtis Hare.